Hi, today I'm going to be talking about retinol binding protein 4. I'll be talking about this protein with regards to 5W and 1H question. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Um, but I'm not going to be going in that specific order, so let's get started. By simply watching the first five seconds of this video, we've already answered our first W question, who. We'll be talking about retinol binding protein 4, but we'll be taking a look at that in more detail a little bit later. So let's move on to our next question, what. What is retinol, and isn't it just vitamin A? Well, actually, retinol is just one derivative of vitamin A. Vitamin A is simply a general name for all retinoid and carotenoids that are found in the human diet. Each retinoid and carotenoid is responsible for um, a different biological function or structure in the human body. With regards to retinol binding protein 4, we're going to be focusing on the retinoid derivatives of vitamin A. So the retinoid derivatives of vitamin A are also called preformed vitamin A. And they're found in animal sources. Um, these include dairy products, meat, and fish oils. Retinoids can be found as alcohols, aldehydes, and esters. The structural differences between the various retinoids allow them to carry out different metabolic and regulatory functions in the body. So you might be thinking, wait, what is retinol specifically? Well, retinol is the alcohol derivative of vitamin A. It's a hydrophobic molecule that is vitamin A's main mode of transport in the blood. Compared to the acid, ester, and aldehyde derivatives, retinol has a relatively low toxicity and allosterically binds to its transport protein, which is retinol binding protein 4. It's known to be um, an intermediate for vision, play a significant role in the control of B lymphocyte growth, and is significant in the expression of the BMP4 gene in the germline cells. Um, and as you can see, it has a formula of C20H30O, and we'll be focusing on the all trans retinol configuration of this molecule. Now that we have some background information on our substrate, let's start focusing on our protein and go back to the question of who. Retinol binding protein 4, also called RBP4, or simply RBP, is mainly synthesized and stored in the liver. As we can guess from its name, it's responsible for transporting retinol in the blood. It's a part of the lipocalin family of proteins and solubilizes retinol in order to transport it. RBP is composed of 182 amino acid residues that show internal homology between residues 36 to 83 and 96 to 141. Having a molecular weight of 21.2 kilodalton, RBP is composed of a single polypeptide chain and is seen to have three disulfide bridges. Having touched upon the structure of RBP, let's move on to our next question, why? Based on its structure, why does RBP behave the way that it does? Characteristic to the lipocalin family, RBP is composed of eight antiparallel beta strands. By folding over each other, the eight strands twist to form a hollow beta barrel. If we take a look down either end of the beta barrel, it seems like the barrel can be divided into two beta sheets with a retinol sandwiched in between. Uh, by taking a side view of the barrel, we see that these two beta sheets are orthogonal to each other. The hollow center of the barrel creates a ligand binding pocket that's specifically for retinol. Uh, this ligand binding pocket is often compared to a hand and glove model. This pocket is open at the C terminal, but is capped off at the N terminal. This closed end is achieved through a salt link that's found between the lysine and the aspartate residues found on the beta sheets. In its general structure, RBP also includes a three-turn alpha helix. The alpha helix is generally found on the underside of the beta barrel, making side chain contacts between the residues. The alpha helices end with a cysteine residue that contributes one disulfide bond to the overall structure. Now that we know the general structure of RBP, we can move on to the next question, when? When does RBP bind to retinol? In mammals, almost all retinol found in the blood is bound to RBP. 
Therefore, this protein can be considered as a regulatory transport mechanism. It keeps retinol levels in the blood and target tissues uh, relatively stable as a dietary intake of vitamin A may undergo some fluctuations. RBP can be secreted from the liver only when all transretinol is present. The RBP complex bound to retinol is called hollow RBP, while the complex without retinol is called apoRBP. While the retinol's hydroxyl head group faces the open end of the beta barrel, its beta ion ring forms a hydrophobic interaction inside the barrel, generating a small conformational change. It's hypothesized that this conformational change is what prompts the apoRBP complex to be released from the liver. Once released from the liver, RBP moves through the bloodstream to its target tissues. In the blood, it interacts with another protein complex called transthetin. This brings us to our next question of where. Where is RBP found in the body and where is it going? While mainly synthesized in the liver, a large amount of RBP is found in the blood. RBP has a binding ratio of 1 to 1 to 1 with retinol and transthetin. Transthetin, also called uh, proalbumin or TTR, facilitates the transport of RBP in the blood. By binding to the apoRBP complex, transthetin increases the molecular weight of the whole complex and prevents the diffusion of RBP in the kidneys. The apoRBP TTR complex moves to target tissues that contain the RBP receptor cells. Just to name a few important locations, um, these receptors are found in the brain, intestines, testis, placenta, thymus, spleen, skin, and the eyes. So let's look at the question of how. How is retinol binding protein related to everyday life? With the exception of retinoic acid, almost all vitamin A derivatives can be oxidized or reduced to retinol. Since retinol is a transport version of vitamin A, the regulation of RBP4 has a direct effect on all of the regulatory and structural functions of vitamin A. Due to the large stores of apoRBP found in the bloodstream and high retinol levels in the liver, small amounts or short times of vitamin A deficiency will not affect the individual too greatly. But long periods of vitamin A deficiency can cause detrimental effects. Low dietary intake of vitamin A, or RBP loss of function, can lead to impaired night vision, also called night blindness. Oftentimes, uh, children in developing countries are seen to have xerophthalmia, which means that they have extremely dry eyes. In addition to these health issues, vitamin A deficiency can also lead to defective embryonic development, weakened immune systems, and thick and dry skin. And that sums up the who, what, when, where, why, and how questions for our protein. Thanks for watching.